all right so if you are also someone who is like me stuck in elementor based errors this video is for you if you're someone who is building a website and uh, you're facing this error the moment you hit this update button on your elementor page it's kind of showing a server error or the moment you kind of try to uh, update or, or load your uh, load your elementor editing panel it kind of loads endlessly so you are stuck in this uh, page where it's still loading loading and loading or it might be a case where your page is loaded but your widgets are not loaded so these widgets in elementor are still loading and it never appears in your editing panel or it might happen that you are you have successfully saved your element uh, page but it's showing up in a in a distracted or or in a disassembled way in the front end so how do we solve this kind of errors i have spent hours in figuring out what would be a possible solution for this i have gone through all of these issues all of these solutions that element has uh, mentioned in their in their blog in their website for this kind of uh, issues the troubleshooting i have uh, figured out a proper troubleshooting process for this so stick to this video i'll walk you through all those process that you can follow i have also got in touch with hostinger and host host data uh, hosting service providers to understand if we can have a different solution or different approach to this kind of problems because this is a serious game it can actually get your website stuck in peak moments so for example right now i'm working on a landing page and the landing page is stuck i'm not able to save my pages and that's where i really need to get it fixed as soon as possible so this is in this particular video i'll walk you through all the possible solutions that you can have for this kind of elementor based errors so let's begin this troubleshooting process now i'll be discussing about uh, two approaches here one is a server side fixing and one is a front end or wordpress end fixing so uh, either it's your wordpress settings or your elementor settings that's causing this issue or your server that is causing this issue so we'll look into both of this first let's look at the simpler way uh, simpler option looking at the wordpress side issues so the moment you land up on your wordpress website just try to visit your plugin section and just try to deactivate or delete any of the cache plugins that you might have any of the cache plugins you that you might have because most in most of the cases caches cause this kind of loading errors so if you delete that cache plugin you might get your problem solved in case you don't get it solved by that by deleting the cache plugin let's move on to the next step delete any kind of security plugins that you might have on your website if that solves great otherwise let's move on to the next step what is the next step De deactivate the other plugins so whenever you are using elementor and along with elementor you want additional features and thus you have installed element skate or let's say essential add-ins happy add-ins ultimate add-ins there are multiple plugins like this that that add-ons to your elementor functionalities in case you're using any of these plugins just deactivate those plugins and try to reload your page and check if this plugin is causing the issue if yes then try to get rid of this plugin and if you think that if you find that okay these plugins are not causing any kind of errors then move on to elementor settings uh, and then move on to elementor tools the moment you land up on tools you'll find something called regenerate files and data so try to regenerate this uh, files and sync the library and save it up so make sure that you don't uh, press this sync library first first step is to regenerate the files and then sync the library and then save it then now, now again try to reload your page if it solves your problem great otherwise move on to the next step next step would be to also look at the the, the css data of other plugins for example in my case i'm using essential add-ins as a plugin so get into that plugin and try to check if they also have this kind of options out there so yes they have this regenerate assets i'll click on this regenerate assets button over here and i'll try to regenerate all the css assets in this particular plugin and then i'll save the settings now just go ahead and reload load your page try to check if it solves the problem if not let's move on to the next step uh, again you can go to the other plugins that you have you can follow the similar process regenerate the assets of all the additional plugins that you are using for your page builder in case you are having any other page builder on your plugins uh, installation please delete that uh, plugin as well for example templately is also one of those page builder uh, template plugins i've just deactivated that so similarly just deactivate all the plugins that might cause a clash with your elementor plugin and try to figure out which plugin is causing the issue now once this is done and you are still stuck with your problem now let's move on to the server side uh, fixes now in the server side you need to log into your control panel or you can just install a plugin called wp file manager using this wp file manager you can also access the control panel files of your website 
So all the files that you need or all the files that you have on your control panel, you can check it from this uh, area as well. But I suggest don't use this kind of plugins directly log into your hosting account. So let me just log into my hosting account right now and try to uh, quickly walk you through the whole process. So the moment you log, log into your hosting account, so let's say I'll move on to my hosting account and log into your control panel just get into your control panel in your hosting account and then try to move on uh, to php settings so i'll just search for php now this is where from you maintain the database or the server side settings of your website so click on php configuration and over here try to check if you are using the latest php version and just just uh, for your information also you have to check if you're using the latest wordpress uh, installation so just try to check in your in your wordpress installation if you're using the latest theme and the latest wordpress installation then move on to your server side check for the php version that you're using so in this case i'm using the latest php version and then i'll move on to php extension and check if everything is all right and then i'll try to move on to php options and also check if i have all the uh, options of file upload size and the and the file timings upload timings and everything to the max so over here i can just click and uh, change these values all right so let's say over here i can just check check the memory limit and make make it the maximum over here again i can check for the maximum time so i can make it as 14 uh, 14400 you can just increase this file max sizes and the timing upload timings now this is what will help you get uh get over with this server side issues to some extent in case now now go back to your website and just check if it's solved if it's not solved then you have to move to the next step so let's try to go to the cache manager of your server now every server has its own cache manager make sure that you do not have any automated cache manager switched on to your server at times it happens that you are using a cache plugin in your wordpress dashboard and you also have a cache manager in your hosting account and both of these cache managers together causes this kind of uh, clashes on your elementor loading or elementor uh, page builder so try to ensure that you don't have any clashes between the different caches make sure that you just get rid of all the caches and try to fix this error and then again switch on the cache to check which cache plugin is causing this error in my case i just switched off all of these caches my next step would be to go ahead and edit the wp config file and htaccess so this is the most advanced part of this whole uh, process in case all of this uh, all of these settings options do not solve your problem you need to go ahead and do some additional advanced settings on your uh, hosting account or the server side now to locate the htaccess and uh, the wp config file you need to move on to the file manager of your website so i'll just simply move on to the file manager of the website so here it is files file manager now inside file manager i'll have all the files of the website in case you're using a control panel similar similar process you need to just search for file manager in your control panel and you'll be able to locate that so public underscore html i'll get into this and over here i'll find the h uh, i'll find the htaccess file now in case you have multiple htaccess files just check for the time uh, so when it was last modified that is the latest version that you're using right now so this is one way you can uh, edit it from your uh, hosting space or you can simply move on move back to your uh, wordpress uh, dashboard and try to get into this uh, file manager now once you get into this wp file manager you'll again be able to access the files of your uh, hosting account so i'll just right click and try to edit this ht access file so if you right click it and click on code editor you'll be able to see the code over here now what you see over here is end wordpress now over here before this code line just try to paste this particular file which is more of a php value uh, uh, it's trying to increase the php value and save it no worries you can always come back and uh, remove these codes if it does not work for you and along with this you also need to change the wp config file to ensure that uh, we are able to increase the memory limit of our wordpress uh, installation so for that we need to get into wp config dot php file let us just try to figure out uh, where it is so this is uh, the wp config file i'll again right click it again, and again uh, if you have multiple files just try to check the date the last modified file is the latest file that you have to edit and then i'll click on this code editor and over there you'll find um, all right and over here you'll find something like this 
so they have already mentioned it that any custom values that uh, you want to insert it has to be between this line and this line that's all stop editing heavy happy publishing so you need to put your additional codes in between this i'll put my additional code over here to increase the memory limit to 256 mb and uh, i'll save and close it that's it i'm done with the uh, settings of my ht uh, ht access and wp config now I'll, now i'll go, go back to my site and try to load it uh, uh, and, and and try to check if it's uh, functioning fine for me so i'll just try to load this page back and save it and try to see if it's working fine <sighs> All right, so hope this uh, solves your problem. In case it's still not solving your problem, try to look at uh, uh, try to look at creating a fresh page. So in certain cases, this also helps. Just try to create a fresh page and copy these modules from here and paste it in your fresh page. At times, due to multiple revisions on the same page, um, you might face these errors as well. So in case th this step by step process do not solve your problem, just create a fresh page and uh, try to copy and paste the uh, sections on that page and you'll be good to go in case you face any other problem or you have any other solution to it please share in the comment section thank you so much happy learning bye bye